happen to me Said I can't believe in myself Hey, well it's uh, August 9th still as you can tell. And uh, this one is the after fight afterthought For the Devon Alexander Andre Kotelnik fight that just uh, happened over the weekend on August 7th. And uh, obviously the after fight is the winner of the fight and the afterthought is the loser of the fight. Going into this uh, uh, thing I will go what's going on before the fight, during the fight, and after the fight for each fighter. Okay? So we'll start off with the winner and that was Devon Alexander. Going in there, ranked number three in the world in the light welterweight division. And in taking this fight, a lot of people were thinking he was actually taking a step back. They were like, why is he not fighting a Bradley? Why is he not fighting a Khan? Why is he not fighting a Maidana? Why is he not fighting uh, any of these guys? And it's like, well, they're all busy fighting other dudes too. It's not like Bradley didn't just have a fight a little bit ago. Uh, maybe, maybe the Khan fight, maybe. But, I, I mean, he was coming off a nice fight, a uh, knockout stoppage of Juan Urango. So, when you, when you see that or think about it, it, he really wasn't, he's not ducking anybody. And if you looked at the shirt he put on after the fight, you kind of have that idea, you know what I mean? But, let's not get too carried away here. So, going into the fight, they're saying this, but on the flip side of that, he is going up against Kotelnik. And Kotelnik... Uh, beat Maidana. So, before anybody can say anything, I mean, sure, this guy is ranked above, Maidana is ranked above Katelnik, but I think that's strictly because of his power punching. I mean, Katelnik did lose to Amir Khan, but Amir Khan is a masterful boxer, and he kept his distance, and he stayed away. And that's basically how I saw the fight coming in. I can't believe I didn't make a... Uh, fight prediction for this video is probably one of the easier ones I could have done. Um, going into the fight, you know, he has the pressure. De Devon has to win this fight. He has to. And he is going in against a legitimate veteran, a legit top 10 light middleweight. Or light welterweight, my apologies. And he goes in and he easily takes the first four rounds of the fight. And the fifth round, I believe it's the fifth round, he starts, he gets a little bit of a cut. And so he's learning how to fight through adversity. He's young. This is a young guy. It's not like he's 40 years old. I mean, this is a young guy. So he's finally dealing with adversity. And he's going through. He's giving. He's taking. He's keeping his distance. I mean, and, and toward the end there, uh, I believe it was the 10th round, that cut really opened up on him. And it was just the fact that he was able to make it to the end showed his, uh, showed his heart. And especially against a guy like Kotelnik, because the man can take your best shot. Miranda couldn't knock him out. Uh, you know, Khan didn't knock him out. Nobody's knocked him out. So it's not like this guy is a, is a bum, by no means. I mean, he's a very, very, very solid fighter. He's a B-plus fighter. And he goes in, he handles his business, he does his job, and when he put his shirt on at the end of the night, he wants Bradley, Timothy Bradley. And I think that's a great fight. That'll be great, because Bradley, I don't think, has the power to uh, take uh, Alexander out of his game. So that'll be a, a great matchup, great style, stylistic matchup for that. And you couldn't ask for a better fight next. And obviously that is for the recognized uh, light welterweight champion, is Bradley. So he wins that. He's the man. So nothing but positives for him. Nothing, nothing but positives for him. Going over to Katelnik now, who has lost his last two fights. Of course, they're against the number two and number three guys in his division. And he didn't lose horribly. Well, more, he lost pretty bad against Khan, but he looked pretty good uh, with Alexander, with uh, the cut and everything like that on Alexander and making him have to work for it. And at the end of the fight there, he definitely won two of the last four rounds, maybe even three of the last four rounds. All depends on how you want to look at it, but he was he was willing to do it. Uh, uh, Katelnik, going into this fight, uh, you know, obviously he had lost to Khan. He was having, uh, you know, but he had beat Midana. So he's he's on that cusp. Where is he? Where is he going to go? People want to know. Does he have the ability? Can he 
move up into the upper echelon of the light welterweight division again. Can he be up there? Can he uh, can he stay up there? Can he regain his title form before he uh, the form he had before he lost to Khan? And going in in the first four rounds, you're like, no, <laughs> okay, sorry, you know, we thought maybe, but no. Alexander's answering the questions, but he shows the heart. He shows the he's a solid veteran, 32 years old. He's had the fights. He's very seasoned. He's a, he's a pro's pro. And he goes in there, and I mean, if you want to say who won the last five rounds of the fight, I guess okay, Kotelnik, yeah, he won. But you got to win the early rounds too. Ask Bernard Hopkins about that stuff. You got to win the early rounds too, and he didn't. And did he look stronger at the end? Of course he did. Yes, he did. Do I think he deserves a rematch? Maybe so. You know, now now you're starting to talk. That that could be out there, but when you hear about Alexander actually calling out Bradley like that, and if that fight gets matched up, he's obviously not going to get matched up with uh, with Khan again. Maybe Madonna, but it's going to be some of the lower guys wanting to get that shot. Some of the lower guys wanting to be able to step up and, and have that opportunity. So unless he can somehow talk his way into a rematch with Alexander, I don't see him really fighting for the titles anytime soon. He's going to be more the uh, the torchbearer. He's going to be the stepping stone guy that if you can beat Kotelnik, then you're going to be able to step up and really do some serious damage in the uh, in the in the ranks. So with that, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Kotelnik looked good, not good enough. Alexander looked good, not great. Uh, exposed some things there, uh, but he showed his heart. Uh, being able to fight through the injury, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, the, a lot of positives are there. And the fact that he uh, called out Bradley just has to get you excited about it. I can't believe I didn't do a prediction bit for this. I apologize to all my Missouri people. <laughs> all right. Wait, this is a Big Ragu. I'm out.